computer. Okay, so uh, yeah, just to let you know, uh, from June onwards, we'll be in reach because they've got a bigger kitchen and um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a uh, oh no, there's no session next Monday because no. it's Easter Monday. Um, Cheers, thank you. But there'll be there will be something on YouTube on Good Friday. I'm putting I'm I'm recording uh, after I finish here. I'll be recording my sessions for Good Friday, and they'll be they'll be put up on YouTube. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll um, no, I'm having the day off. <laughs> so that's fine. But there's loads of YouTube videos you can watch that keep you keep you occupied. So oh goodness, brilliant. Well done. So just have your feet shoulder width apart and just be nice and tall through the head. So we've got the feet, we're sinking the hips, nice and relaxed, and then we're just gonna turn the waist and So, yeah, to, so we're carrying on, so the last class will be on the 22nd of May, here, and then from June onwards, uh, June to the end of July, we'll be in reach, and then what we'll do is we'll have a vote and see which one we like the best. I'll probably stick with reach just because they've got a bigger kitchen, and... Um, The heating's better. It's exactly the same time. Yeah, we had a vote as to what did we want to change the time or did we want to keep it the same. And the overall, um, the overall thing was everyone wanted everything the same, which is great. Which I, I think is good because then we're not having to do too many. We're just literally in the next village alone. Um, there isn't like the big car park, but you can park along the green, and it's not. You can park around the green, yes. and um, it's much quieter. And we've even been allocated as an official space in the cupboard to put our tea things. Um, so we're very happy, and. Um, If you're coming from this side, to the best way to get there yeah. is near me, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you know, as you come into Burwell, you've got Reach Road. Yeah. Which I, I'm just off there. That's the one to take. So is Reach yeah. closer for you? It, Reach close, yes. Because oh, it's closer to you. It's okay, close yeah. if you take that road. Okay. Don't, don't <coughs> take the wrong it's road. It's close to Reach Road, is it? Yeah, it's called Reed Road. Okay. Yeah. But it's just, it's, I mean, uh, literally, you just go that way. Straight, straight, yeah. straight, yeah. straight yeah. from here. As it's well. on this side of Burwell. As you go yes. into Burwell, yes. it's on the left. Right. Right. It's called Reed Road. Yes. Yeah. But there's lots of different ways yes, yes, into it. So. I, I know Reach, but I couldn't remember. Yeah. yeah. And the pub, uh, there is a pub as well, but that only opens. Billy. <laughs> Sunday lunch is good. I heard yesterday that okay. someone has just opened it. I think it only opens like a couple of days a week or something. Yes. In very strange open, like 4 pm till 8 pm or something. Right. It's a very strange right. opening time. So, so we're just sinking and we're breathing very good. Sink the hips. Oh, lovely. 
So we'll just whiz through the loosening exercises and then we'll just get straight on to the silk reading and then we stop for tea. Uh, uh, everything stops for tea. Everything stops for tea, yeah. We, you know, it's a very important part of this crucial, essential part of the learning process in this class, the tea break. So, uh, yeah, I think it will work. I mean, we might even get a few more rich people trickling in because I have told my Wednesday class and we used to cover the same syllabus as what happens on a Wednesday, what happens on a Monday. I try and keep things. Um, so Burwell and Ely, they, they cover a different form and then Reach and Swatham and um, Bottichon all cover the same. So it, it just... Okay, and then open the arms. That's it. That's it. And we're all breathing. So I'll be buying some more of the hot chocolate uh, this week because Ely's about to run out of hot chocolate, which which would be a disaster because I'm about to get good plates. So you know, and then we just. So yeah, I'm having a little bit of an Easter holiday, I decided, because it's only, I'm not, I'm still teaching on the Wednesday and I'm still, you know, but I just think, and then we, we decided in Ely and Burwell that we'd get the Easter eggs after Easter and we're going to eat them after Easter because it would be cheaper. So. <laughs> I thought that was very clever on the part of my team. I said, well, why don't we, rather than have them this week, why don't we have all these eggs next week when they're cheap and we can eat more of them? I was like, what a good idea! <laughs> Fantastic! So, uh, why not? <laughs> yeah, it's really, really strange. So, uh, and then shake. Oh, we're just going to shake. It's got a nice little. This is my current favourite move at the moment. I really love it. What well, wrong with the stamping? I like the stamping as well, but I really like this one at the moment. We'll do we'll do the stamping in a minute. Oh, great. Okay, and we'll just we'll just go okay, so that. So just nice, relaxed. Keep breathing. So North has gone up north or something, is she? Sorry? Has she gone up north? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's Yorkshire. Yorkshire? She's gone to Yorkshire. Oh, it's cold up there. With her two daughters. Very picturesque, though. Yeah, well, one of her daughters lives up there. My favourite place is Yorkshire. There's hills up there. There's hills, yeah, you yes. get these funny yes. things called hills. Yes. Um, yeah, my favourite place is Hebden Bridge. Yes, right. I've got a friend that lives, a couple of friends that live there. The rich people live at the top of the hill and the poor people live at the bottom of the hill where you get flooded a lot, apparently. Yes. So, uh, Which but, one is that? Is that where the last of the summer wine? I don't you know. Say, yes. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Turn the part yeah. up. It's yeah. just very, very nice.
all the YouTube videos are up on the channel from last week. And um, yeah, so what I do is if I'm away on holiday, um, I pre-record the class. <laughs> so it's like a, you know, a replacement replacement class service, I call it. You do it from the beach of Lanzarote or whatever. No, no, I'm, I'm doing it probably from the green bit out here, or possibly the car parks, one of the places. So I, I, I started the first part, I was performing in a church last night, so while we were waiting to go on, I thought, oh, I can start my video for Friday. And so that was quite exciting, so I'm back in this church. Very nice. And then... Uh, So all the bank holidays, there is nothing on. I'm not even doing the replacement class service. We're oh, just not next Monday. Yeah. So the bank holiday ones, whenever yeah. it. So Easter Monday, Monday nothing. Yeah. And then the king's getting his crown on. We won't be doing nothing. I might do. I might um, just because there's so many Mondays off. I might do a replacement class service. And just put it up on YouTube, and then you can watch it on YouTube from your house right. um, at the exact same time. But I'll even make sure there's a tea break <laughs> that you can, <laughs> you can have. Of course. Go. Okay, we have stopped the tea little, now. Little Pause this video. Go and have your tea, and then we'll we'll carry on. And then you can so you can still. Um, I don't want to. Because the problem is the Mondays, that's where bank holidays are, and we often yeah, don't get to yeah. one. So I, I would like, I'll probably do a replacement class service for one of the bank holidays. Yeah, there'll be the Monday the first, and then there'll be the, month, the end of May as well. Yeah, the Monday at the end of May. So probably the the, uh, thing. the May either either the hat thing or the um, one of them probably. I could do like a replacement coronation thing. It's just that there's no point. I won't be able to get this hall, so. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. We could even just do a Zoom class if you want, on the, if you can work Zoom. Or I can, because that will still make, um, I might just do it as a Zoom class. Okay. Uh, that could be quite fun. And then you can either watch it, um, or I might see if I can work out how to live broadcast it on on YouTube. You could do a live, yeah, you could do a live class on YouTube if you don't want to use Zoom. I've done that before. Yeah. yeah, and then you can watch it afterwards on the live bit. Quite good. You didn't get an invitation for the coronation then? No, I didn't. No, no. I'm, I'm not really. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I just, yeah. <laughs> I was technically born here, but there are some things I just don't really quite fathom. I mean, class yourself as an arm royalist, then? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've, like with the Queen, but, um, quite a few of my friends have, have met met Queen. My friend Christian, the Queen, met him. Yeah, yeah. She was very, very nice to him. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, no, this is all right. But uh, apart from that, I don't know. I mean, I think there's some individual very nice people there, and they they do quite useful things, and that's good. But apart from that, I've got no idea. So <laughs> I still haven't. I listen to people say, oh, it's like this or it's like that. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, one way or the other, I'm not really that. Relax your wrists. And just let the arms go. It's long. And just allow your weight just to settle behind the ball of each foot. And then we're just going forwards and back.
Please in very nice. Okay, we'll just do a little bit of uh, joint mobilisations, and then we'll look at the um, we'll look at the silk really. So just do the shoulder first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Same shoulder, other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice and tall, sink the hips back and down, nice and tall through through the head. Bird folds its wings. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That's it. Five. Six, keep breathing, lovely. Seven and eight. Fat. Hands on the hips, we're just going to very gently circle. So we go to the side first, then we go to the front, then we go to the side, then we go to the back. Side, front, side, back. We're all breathing very nice. So. so yeah, I'll get my Easter eggs after Easter. Because there was a lady in the supermarket, because last year I was buying um, a couple of Easter eggs and they had a cup with them. Because cups are really useful. And we actually use them in Ely now. For the, and then we go in the other direction. And um, we go, yeah, we go in the other direction. And um, this lady then said, "Oh, you should buy the Easter eggs now." I said, "Oh, why is that then?" She says, "Because you can get them for a third of the price a day later." And I was like, "That's when I get all mine." <laughs> And the grandkids don't care, it's chocolate, isn't it? <laughs> so there you go. So I was I was like that was from a very wise person. Like Christmas trees on Boxing Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like a Christmas tree then. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really weird, isn't it? So let's just uh, let's just stretch up with one arm and stretch up with the other and just imagine you're a cat. So um, at some point this year we will be getting new t shirts, we hope, but it depends on the, um, how much more money it's going to be because when we first had these t-shirts about six years ago now they weren't too badly priced that's it and we just stretch down okay so now we come up you rotate so that the palm is facing out and then you just strip reach down imagine you're trying to reach something and then you come back up and you go down you come up you rotate and you reach over you come up there we are and we're all breathing very nice so it's good isn't it yeah i mean it's just amazing it's, it is good to do these things that's it. And then you come back down, up, rotate, over. So we'll do one more this side and then we'll do one more the other side. One down, one up, rotate and over. Fantastic. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Mm. It's good. You can feel it. It's like a kind of, it's a good stretch that. So let's do polishing the table. I will demonstrate first. So you make a nice round shape in the arms. You turn and then the hips go back 
and swing round one direction and the hands go in the opposite direction. Then you put it back where you found it. Always put things back where you found it. One of my nieces, she's brilliant at putting things away. She's, she doesn't like it when her room gets messed up. She's super tidy. Whereas the other one likes to make a great big mess everywhere. And it's quite interesting, the dynamic between the two sisters. So, there we are. We'll just do a few, how's that, is that? Because of the differences in direction, it's very good for the brain, isn't it? And we just go round one, so we we'll just do that. This is another good one for the lower back. So we'll do the phoenix, we'll do phoenix turns its head and we'll also do monkey king. We'll do the monkey king. Well, I've completely lost count, so let's do one more time each side. Fantastic. Okay, so a uh, phoenix turns its head, or just demonstration. I'll show it from the front and you can see the arm. I think it's probably okay um, to follow. So you start like this, you turn your foot in, you turn your foot out, you transfer your weight, you make a round shape in the arm, you lean slightly forwards, then you point the fingers forward, you point the finger down, and then you relax your shoulders. And it looks a bit like an Egyptian hieroglyph. You look down there, and you're, I'm looking at the heel of my uh, lower foot. Then I come back to the middle, like that. Then I turn, turn, transfer, round shape slightly, point, Point, drop the shoulder, look down to the heel. So that's the... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn around so that we're all facing in the same direction and I think it will be a bit easier to follow from there. Okay. So we'll start here. We'll go that side first and then we'll go that side. So... Hands in front, like you're reading a book. Turn your right foot, turn your left foot. Transfer the weight, round shape in the arms. Lean slightly, point the top hand, point the uh, bottom hand, look down towards the lower heel. Come back to the middle. Sink the hips. Turn the left foot in, turn the right foot out, transfer the weight, round shape, lean slightly, point the top hand, point the bottom hand, drop the shoulders, look down to the back heel. Release, come back to the middle. Turn, turn, transfer. Round shape, lean, point, point, look down. Sink the hips. Come back. Turn, turn, transfer, round shape of the arms, lean, point the front hand, point the back hand, drop the shoulders, look down. back and down. And that is Phoenix turns its head. Let me show you that from the front again, just so you can see. So. And eventually you do everything all at the same time. So you're all like that. And then just... It's just, it's a lot easier to do when you're, when you're... When you do it in stages to start off. 
And it, it's very good for the brain. I don't know if you noticed that. It's very good for the brain. Okay, um, Monkey King takes a seat. So take a slightly wider side. Now the important thing with Monkey King taking a seat is that you keep your knees in line with the toes. So the knees are in line with the toes, especially when you come back up again. See, so they're still in line. They're not kind of caving in or anything. You want to keep that, that shape, that arch shape in the legs. In badly pronounced Chinese, it's called the dang, the dang. So you want to maintain the structural integrity of the dang. So we are the nice, nice, and, uh, and, and then what, the other thing that's happening is you're sinking your hips back and lengthening through the spine as the arms swing. So there's like a pendulum thing going on with the arms. Then you come back and up. So you float up, but you want to sink your hips. You want to sink the hips. Right. Okay. One more time. Fantastic. Oh, great, have a little shake. Cool. Any questions so far? No. Alright, we will we will carry on. So we've done that. Uh, we've done uh, we've done a bit of leg stuff because of the monkey king. Um, yeah, let's just get our, our hip joints a little bit more mobile. So if you just Transfer the weight a little bit, for, uh, side to side. And then we'll go to this side, and then we're going to cat stance. So cat stance, and then we're going to circle the knee outwards. One, two, three, four, five. So that works the leg. Six, seven, eight, other way. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then transfer the weight. Cap starts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and eight. Breathing. <clears throat> Relax around the jaw. Nice and tall. And we just do this one. So just open the two, three.
two, three, five, six. So just get the shoulders nice and loose. Okay, and the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice, and then roll forwards. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, roll back, two, five, six, seven, eight, and over and under. Five, keep breathing very nice. Six, seven, and eight. Right, okay, any questions on, on that? Right. right, I think we should do a bit of sorting. I'm just going to check because of the whole cost. Is that actually correct, that? No, not yeah. the other one. That's an hour out, isn't it? But correctly, yeah. What was it? Oh no, it is correct. Okay. Right. It is correct. <coughs> Still confusing me. So, um, yeah, last week we had the very tricky question as to how does Grandmaster Chen Xiao Wang keep his silk trousers up? And the answer is elastic, because we went and looked up silk suits online to see how they work. And they have an elastic waistband, which is why when he did his silk breathing, everything was all perfect, because the elasticated waistband. So just, I don't know, in case any of you were worried, um, that's why. So we're just going to a slightly wider side. You don't have to go as wide as me. I'm going a bit wider, then it's easier to see what's happening. And we're just going to transfer our weight. Now we go to that side and then we turn towards the weighted leg and we look towards the corner. Then we transfer, gaze along the wall and look towards the corner. So I'll show you from the, from the uh, back view. So I look to the corner, I look to the corner, I look to the corner. So I'm gazing along the wall, looking to the corner. Gazing along the wall, looking to the corner. So that's the bottom part. Now just grab uh, your, uh, do, do the right arm first. Right arm first. So turn, <coughs> look towards the corner and the hand comes down. Transfer along while you gaze across the wall, uh, along. Then you turn, feel that stretch in the back. Release the stretch in the back. One, sink down. So we were, I think we were looking at um, step back and circle arms. Is that correct? Good. I think so, yeah, because we looked at Grandmaster Chen Shao Wang do and thought we can be just as good as him. We look spot on, just like him. So. That's it, we're going down, in, up, and out. Down, in, up, and 
And so next week you'll all, I guess, have to be eaten Easter eggs. But yeah, we'll do it. We'll do a. Because I, I won't be able to get in because of the bank holidays. The, this hall will probably, and also for the key thing, I'll probably be doing something. So there's no point me even bothering. So I will do something on Zoom and so, YouTube. Is that the following Monday? It's Monday the 8th. Which would be that one, would it? It's the week, so we've got a bank holiday on the Monday, and I'll be at a Tai Chi event, so I won't be able to do anything that day. I'll be driving back from uh, the New Forest, I'll be in the New Forest. But the Monday the 8th, you've got the coronation, so everything will be shut. So I, I will be doing an online thing. Okay. But. Um, so it's the 1st and the 8th that you're not here. Yeah, first and the eighth and the twenty something or other. The other end. Of the May. other end of May. So we've got a class on the fifteenth of May and the twenty second of May in real time here. Yeah. And then that will be, and then from June it will be uh, all in reach, all within reach. Oh, uh -huh. and then uh, let's go on the other side. So just with your with your left arm. So we're in the in the left leg. Now you turn, that floats down. You transfer. You turn, that floats up, you transfer, you turn. So it's very good doing the step back and circle arms. Um, keep breathing small, very good. But yeah, I don't, I don't mind taking two bank holidays off, but three, that's far too much, so mm. I, will, I will be teaching something that day, but um, it will be online. That's it, so just nice and relaxed. You want to relax the shoulders, relax the muscles, open the palms of the hands, we're all breathing. Okay, have a little shake out because it's really is very um, builds your legs, doesn't it? Makes mm. super strong. Um, we'll do silk reading number two. Oh. Silk reading number two. So it's like silk reading number one, but in the opposite direction. So I'm, I'm doing this. So I start here and I transfer my weight, then I turn my waist and this arm floats up. I transfer my weight, the hand comes across. I turn my waist, the arm floats down. I transfer my weight, the arm comes across. I turn my waist. And then we speed it up a bit. So I have done silk reading super fast with my <coughs> with Corel, Corel from Scuba. He, he, he does um, but we'll we'll work on speeds at a different let's just get the basics. So and again you can just do it like this. But she, she uh, when, whenever does it, she tends to have her hands sort of flat, as if you put like a, I don't know, a hot crust bun on it or something. Or an Easter egg. Or an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it topical. And, um... <clears throat> Quite interesting, like, <clears throat> like the different cultures and, and what they um, like. When I was in Switzerland, they have these hard-boiled painted eggs yeah. that they get very thrilled about and think it's a brilliant thing. They really like it. So. But there's no chocolate in them, so um, <clears throat> they're just actual real eggs that they decorate beautifully and mm. after they've hard-boiled them. Really interesting. Okay, now try that. 
other side, there we are. Transfer the weight, turn. So we've gone a little bit quicker. Gone a bit quicker. So you want to relax the shoulders. You want to relax the shoulders. So the shoulders stay level. The shoulders stay level and the hips are sinking. We're just, we're just all breathing. And then what you can do is you can combine one with two and you get this. So it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we change. Change the direction, keep nice and tall, breathe, sink the hips, soften the muscles, lengthen along the spine. Keep breathing, very good. Okay, uh, yeah, let's shake out. Let's have a look at the. <clears throat> let's go back to this. So just feel that waist turning, turning the waist, or just turn side, choke from the side, and we're just breathing, we're seeing the hips. Okay, so the, um, it's like this, you go like this, go palms up, and then it brushes past the cheek. You can touch the cheek if you want, but eventually you just go past the cheek, and then forward and back. So it's different, those of you that do the Yang Style 24 step, it's a slightly different, the hand's different, because both of them are palm down. In the Yang uh, 24 step, it's more like that. But this is different, so this is the step back and circle. This is the circle arms part of step back and circle arms. So it comes around, and then, so it's, it's like that. And then, like you're smoothing something out. One, two, three. So we're going to have a, have, a, have a go at that one again uh, after tea break. When we've fortified ourselves with a nice cup of tea, so um, very good. And they've got a piano as well. I mean, that's the other reason why I quite like Greek because I might be to sneak a bit of a play you know, after. Good. <laughs> piano accompaniment. Piano accompaniment, yeah. I had a trombone accompaniment of my um, Tai Chi class when I was in Scotland. And Neko, my friend Neko, she, she said, Oh, do you mind if I practice my trombone while you're teaching your class? No, absolutely not. Carry on. And then she ended up joining the class with some 
I'll show you the comedy trombone moment at tea break. It's, it's one of the best classes I've ever. I'll pop it up there. For some... Yeah, we've almost got a hundred subscribers in the Grey Heron Internal Arts YouTube channel, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. More would be good. That's not bad. I'll show you from the side that goes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. change the um, the camera to the long the wide uh, wide range camera it's just um, just plonk that on there uh, 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 select camera let's try that one there we go that should that's the longer that's the wider range camera because we're stepping backwards a few few times. Um, I think that's okay. Right, okay, so if anybody gets sort of behind me, I'm going backwards, so if anyone gets behind me, that would be good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have our left arm, so everyone's got the same left arm, left hat starts, Right fist under the left elbow. So we're missing out somewhat. So fist, elbow. It's called fist under elbow because you put your fist under your elbow. Yeah. Fist under elbow. So what you do is you turn, arms up. Turn again, bring your hands to your side of the head. Step and sit back. Turn, turn, step. Left hand forward, right hand back. That's it. Raise the heel, turn to the side, turn to the front. Bring your hand by the uh, side of the head. Step, toe heel. That's number three. We've done it three times a minute, five times. Four, turn, turn, step, sink back. Now this time, turn, turn, step, stay forward, turn, turn, 
Cross the right hand underneath the left. Cross the right hand underneath the left. Step back with the right foot. Transfer the weight into the right foot and then right crane, spread it loose. And you're in left cat star. Left cat star. So you want your left foot in front of the right foot. Brilliant. We'll come back to that after team break. I'll put the um, video back on. Yeah, I think we should stop the tea now. Let's stop the tea and then we'll uh, come back in about 10 minutes. It's tea break. Brilliant. So, to look back a bit, um, so just have your feet shoulder width apart, nice and tall. And we're just going to breathe. So, just feel. Feel the uh, ground on your feet. Just go back to this one, and then what we're going to do is going to have a go at walking backwards. We're just going to practice the walking backwards thing, and we'll put the arms in after, and we'll do the arms on their own. So we'll do the walking backwards bit on its own, and we'll do the arms on its own. Just um... So you can really feel that, that turning, nice and relaxed. And let the, the arms go. That's it, we're just breathing, nice and relaxed. So yeah, I got contacted by the guy that answers the emails. And um, that's Philip. Philip, yeah. Yeah, yeah, really, really good. That one, yeah, he's on it, he's really on it pretty much most of the time. So, So what we'll do is, if you have your, your left foot forward, you come back and out, and then transfer the weight. In, out. Open the other side, so it's like that. Oh, yeah. So just um, start with your uh, left foot caps on, and you step out and back, toe heel, then transfer the weight. Come in, come out, toe heel, transfer the weight. Come in. And out. So feel transferred away. So just just watch. Just watch. Just watch. So when you're when you're standing, you want to be upright. You want to be upright. You want the head floating. You want the hips sinking. You want to sink your hips. Have a have another look. So you step out and back. So I'm staying upright. Then I transfer the weight. I bring my foot in. I bring my foot out and back. Then I transfer the weight. Let's get into a shot. I come in and out. Toe down, heel down. Transfer in out. 
transfer. So if you want to move your leg, move the leg. So the, um, hmm. yeah, we, we ought to do that one. So let's have one foot forward and you're in a good bow and arrow stance. So bow and arrow stance, you start from Wu Chi. You turn the foot out, you transfer the weight, you place your foot forward. Place your foot, that's it. And what we're going to do is we're going to sink into the back foot, into the front foot. So you want your knee and your toe pointing forward. You want your back knee and your back toe pointing to the corner. Corner, forward, forward. Okay, then you sink forward and back. You want to be upright, upright. So the chin's tucked in, your eyes are looking forward, your ears are listening behind and above. Forward and back. Forward. So you want your foot forward, forward. That's it. There you go. Now you've got more. Yeah. Okay, bring the foot back into Wu Chi, parallel. Now turn the other foot out and put your foot forward. Heel toe, transfer the weight. Forward. Now we're going back and forward. So you want to sink into the back leg, sink into the front leg. Sink into the back leg, sink into the front leg. Sink into the back leg, sink into the front leg. That's it. Okay, now this time, sink back, bring the foot in, step out, toe heel, sink. Then sink forward, bring the foot in and out. Back, in and out. Forward, in and out. Back, in and out. So if you need to use a wall, um, you can use a wall to balance when doing this. And you want the leg on the outside. So the leg is on the outside. So you go in and out, in and out, in, out. Leg on the outside. The leg that's moving is on the outside. In and out. In. Heel toe. Toe heel. Heel toe. Toe heel. Heel toe. Toe heel. Heel toe. Toe heel. Heel toe, toe heel. Heel toe, toe heel. Try that the other side. So with, uh, with the other leg. So you'll be, uh, you want the leg. If you're using the wolf balance, you want the leg on the outside that is moving. So we go toe heel to the back, heel toe to the front, toe heel to the back. Heel, toe to the front. So notice where you're placing your foot. This is forward. This is not forward, that is side. You want to go forward. You want to go back. You want to go forward. You want to go back. Forward, directly forward. Forward, back. Forward, you go forward. And you go back, and you go forward. So point your toes to the front, that is forward. Point your toes, point your heels to the back when you go back. Point your toes forward to get to the front, point your heel back. Yeah, back more, forward more, back more. That's it. Heel toe. Toe heel, 
Okay, looking down will make you even more wobbly. You look forward, you look forward, you look forward, you look forward, you listen behind and above. Chin tucked in, shoulders down. Forward, back, that's better. Forward, back. You wanna think of your tram lines, tram lines. If you go on the same line, you'll be wobbly. You wanna be on the tram lines. Watch. Right, demonstration, observe. I'll do it really slow. Heel, toe, foot in the front. Heels, shoulder width apart. Shoulder width, shoulder width. Heel, shoulder width apart. Heel, toe. If you're shoulder width apart, it's easier to balance. Shoulder width. In, out. Toe, heel. Shoulder width. Heel, toe. Shoulder width apart. Toe, heel. Heel, toe. Toe, heel. Try again. Try again. Try it with the other leg. So you want, if you need the wall for balance, you want the leg that's moving on the outside. So, come in. Heel, toe, transfer. Point the toes more forward. Point the, that's it. Come in. Half stars. Toe. So, out. Out more. Out more. So, your shoulder width. Heel. That's it. Come in. Heel. Toe. Shoulder width between the feet. Come in. Toe. Heel. Shoulder. That's better. You want shoulder width. Watch it from, watch it from the front. Look where my feet are in relation to these wooden slats. Look, heel toe, shoulder width. Heel toe, toe heel, shoulder width. My feet are shoulder width apart. So when I step, when I step, I'm not having to balance because my feet are shoulder width apart. So when you're doing this, when you're doing this, Look at where my feet are going. They go back and out. Then I do this. Shoulder width. Turn. Up. Step. Back. Place your feet. Place your feet in the correct spots. Right. So let's, let's just do the arms. So you turn the waist. Palms up. Bring the hand to the side of the head. Turn to the front. Push and pull. Turn. Right arm, palm up forward. Left arm, palm up back. Turn. Bring your left arm to the side of the head. Turn the palm over. Pull back. Push forward. Pull back, push forward. That's it. Forward. Forward. Okay. Forward. Turn. Part fingers forward, fingers back. Bring the back hand to the side of the head. Okay. Palm over. Pull and push. Turn the waist. Forward. Forward. That's it. Turn. Forward. Palm up. Forward and back. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. Bring the hand to the side of the head. So hand the forward. Hand to the side of the head. That's it. Turn it over. Pull. Push. Keep that hand forward. Turn it up. Now this hand goes behind. 
and you turn your waist, turn your waist, bring the hand to the side of the head, turn his hand palm down, pull and push. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We just do it. Hmm? So get a bit more into uh, a bit more into actually moving your feet more. Move your feet, and it will work better. Not bad, not bad. Pull and push, pull and push, pull and push, pull and push. Turn. Uh, that goes back, that goes forward. Turn. That's it. Now bring the back hand to the side of the head. That goes, this hand now goes back, that hand goes forward. That's it. One. Then you just do it all together. Two, at the same time, forward and back. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, so step back in circle arms is like this. One, two, three, four. Then you transfer the weight. One, two, three, four. Shoulder width gap between the heels. If you do it on the line, then you're wobbling all over the shop. You want to be stable. Stay within your feet. So you need to move your foot. You need to move your foot so that you're stable. One, two, three, four. Let's give it another batch. Okay, if everybody gets behind, I'll put it on the uh, other thing. So, Think about actually moving your feet more. You want to move your feet and you want to be upright and you want to look forwards. Look forwards, forwards, but, and uh, distinguish between forwards and back, up and down. So we're looking straight ahead. Look straight ahead. We're in that side of the foot. We won't do the feet yet. We won't be the arms yet. So you go back and out. Back and out. Put the foot there. Transfer the weight. So you want to be on a wide base. Pull the foot in. Step out and back. Transfer the weight. Pull the foot in. Step out and back. Transfer the weight. I have got a shoulder width gap between my feet. Shoulder width gap. So here we go. Transfer. Transfer. Okay. Come back. Let's do it. Fist under elbow. Fist under elbow. Turn the palms up, fingers point behind, fingers point forward. Bring the hands to the side of the head. Step back and out. Shoulder width gap between the heels. Palm down. Separate the hands now. Pull back a bit more. Step. Step in and out. That's third time. We do five looks like that. 
come in, step back, transfer the weight. Okay, now this time, stay in the front leg, stay in the front leg, turn the hands around, turn the hands to the side, cross the right hand under the left hand, hold up. Hat starts, step out and back, step out and back, transfer the weight, Hat starts with the left hand, right frame, spread it quickly. Right. We'll keep that, that's much better. We'll keep plugging away with that. Come around in the circle. That's fabulous. That was really, really good. So you want to be not too really shy about moving your feet. Because actually, if you do small steps, it just gives you a lot less room. <laughs> and if you're doing small steps, that's okay. But make sure you put the shoulder width gap, whatever you whatever you do. But eventually you want slightly longer steps. Slightly longer steps. So we work towards that, but you want to make sure you've got the shoulder width gap, because then it's easier to balance and easier to keep nice and stable. And it's it's like yeah, so this exercise, I think we will add that. It is a bit challenging, but you can do this exercise using a wall. You just have a wall or a ledge, and then it's, and you want the leg on the outside. You want the leg on, and then when you swap round and you're doing it, uh, or a chair, you've got a chair there, you've got the leg on the outside. So it swings in and swings out, swings in and swings out, and you want, you should go all the width. Shoulder width gap between the legs. So you want to really practice this in, out, in, out, and maybe over exaggerate it. And then eventually, when you do your stepping, so for example, when we do this stepping, which is more at the beginning of the form, before we, we go to there, it's just it's a it's just easier to get around on your feet. And then the other thing you want to work towards is feeling what's happening in the feet, actually through the feet, and looking forward, so you're not... I mean, if it's really icy, then obviously you do need to look down, make sure there's nothing dodgy there, and then that's perfectly fine. But the problem is, if you if you habitually look down all the time, that's not good for your neck, and it changes your centre of balance. It puts your centre of balance over the wrong leg. You want to be centre of balance here, and when you walk in, and it's much easier to get around. So we will we will keep plugging the legs, I think. We'll work on legs for the next few weeks and balance. I think that'd be a really good thing. Um, because if you're if you if you can move your legs, getting your legs in the right spot will really help improve the balance. And then once we've got that a bit better, then we can go back to looking at Eva's. Horrible exercise where she was getting when she gets to stand on one leg for 30 seconds and do things like the happy phoenix, do things like the happy phoenix move. Uh, but it's it's um so it will be a little bit, but it's worth it just having legs that work really well. I think that's really good. But you've just got to be really clear about where your feet are moving on the ground too, and they're moving too. And not get run throat thrown out quick in the hope you want to place your foot in that spot and then it's much easier to balance really good okay let's let's keep let's go back to the waist tone so the, the sort of thing is like use your waist and use your feet feet and waist it's weird because i'm sure in my first tai chi class ever that's what what we were pretty much doing in the first block. How to move the feet, how to move the weight. Your footwork, footwork, footwork. To keep breathing. So so practice it. Yeah, we'll we'll do we'll do things that encourage foot movement. So um...
Okay, long blossom falls left and right. So let's just get our, our transfer in the weight. So we've got a nice shoulder width gap between the heels. And then we go. And go all the way up, that's it. Keep breathing, very good. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountains. So just breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Great, okay, so we're going to look super young now. Rub the hands together. Polish the face. Rub the hands together. Give the lower back a rub. And just let the, the muscles soften. Really feel the ground under your feet. Feel the ground under your feet. <laughs> Breathing in and out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Nice and tall, relax the shoulders, sink the hips. Like a fish, the right hand, left hand over the top, bring your feet together and out. Brilliant, we'll keep plugging away at the feet. We'll get our feet sorted and it'll be great. Well done, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So next week, there isn't anything because it's Easter Monday. And then the one with the king's getting his hat on, I'll be doing an online thing. That'll be, and then what I'll do is I'll um. Stop the